Welcome back to Mathematical Linguistics. In the last video, I told you that if we have two regular languages, L1 and L2, then the union, intersection, concatenation, and star are also regular. So, if we have finite state machines for L1 and L2, how do we make a finite state machine for the union, concatenation, and star? Well, today I'll show you. The intersection is straightforward because you just take the components that are the same and you're left with the finite state machine. So you don't, so you're not really adding anything. So I won't cover that, but the union concatenation and star, I will. Okay. So first the union, I want to take these two finite state machines for L1 and L2, and I want to combine it. So that way it accepts either the strings in L1 or the strings in L2. So we're going to make use of empty strings here. Okay. So to do that, and to take the union, I'm going to make a new start state. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the old start states. I'm going to make a new start state. That's going to start here. And I'm just going to call this Q uh, union. Okay. And with the empty string, I'm going to send it either to Q3 or to Q0. So this means when we start a string, so for instance, I have CD. What it does is it starts at Q union and then immediately it goes either to Q zero or to Q three, and then it starts reading. So we start at C, but first we're going to take the empty string. So we're going to zoom down to Q three. We're going to read C, go to Q four, read D, and then go to Q five and we're good. If we have the string AB, first we're going to start at Q union take the empty string to Q0, read A, go to Q1, read B, go to Q2, and accept it. So this is how we do the union. We get rid of the old starting states, and then we add a new starting state and take the empty string to the original starting states. Okay, so that's the union. The concatenation is a little bit different. So remember the concatenation says, okay, the first part X is an L1 and the second part is an L2. So for instance, L1 accepts AB, L2 accepts CD. So the concatenation is going to accept ABCD. So what we do here is we get rid of all the starting state or all of the end states in L1. So the final states in L1 disappear. So this Q2 here, gone. Then what we do is we send all the final states of L1 to the starting state of L2. And we do that with the empty string. So if we see here, L1 concatenate L2 should read ABCD. So first it reads AB, gets to the old final state, then reads the empty string, then reads C and D, and ends up in the final state and accepts it. So to do the concatenation, we take all of the final states in the first language, get rid of them and send them to the start state of the second language with the empty string. Okay. So that's concatenation. Uh, don't worry. We'll see an example where we put all of these together in the end. Okay. Star star is the most complicated. So let's remember L one accepts a B. So what is else one star going to accept? Well, it's going to accept the empty string. It's going to accept one string of AB. It's going to accept the two string AB. So this will be AB, AB. It'll accept AB, AB, AB. So multiples of AB. Okay. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing we notice is it has to accept the empty string. So the old start state Q0 is no good. So we need to make a new start state that is also an accept state. So we'll call this Q star. So now we need to start here. And what we're going to do is we're going to send it to the first state with an empty string. So if it wants to read AB, it can read AB. So we have AB down, first it goes to Q0, it reads A, it reads B, it ends up in Q2. But it also reads multiples of AB. So what we do here is we take the final state 
and we send it back to the old start state with the empty string. So at this point, we can read A, B, A, B. So we read A, we read B, we take the empty string back to Q0, then we can read A and B again and accept it. So this is how we do concatenation. First, we make a new start state that is also a final state. We send it to the original start state with the empty string. Then we take the final state and send it back to the start state with the empty string. So essentially, we take all the final states and we send it back to the original start state with the empty string. Okay, so now that I've showed you the operations independently, let's put them all together. Okay, so I'm going to actually make all these operations different colors so you can see how I do them individually. Okay, and I'll do the star in pink. Okay, so we start with the innermost brackets. So the first thing we want to do is do the union of L1 and L2. So how do we do union? Well, we make a new start state. We call this Q union and we get rid of the old starting states of L1 and L2, but we send this new starting state to the old starting states of L1 and L2 with the empty string. So here we've done the union of L1 and L2. Next we're going to do the concatenation of L1 and L2 with L3. Okay, so for concatenation what we do is we remove all of the final states of L1 union L2. So we get rid of the final state on 2, we get rid of the final state on 5, and we send it to the start state of L3 with the empty string. So that's concatenation. So now we can see that we can get ABEF or CDEF, which is L1 union L2 concatenated with L3. So at this point, we've done the union, we've done the concatenation, now we do the star. Okay, so remember for star, what we do is we have to be able to accept the empty string. So we need to make a new start state that is also an accept state. So now we're going to start there. We're going to send this new start state to the old start state with the empty string. Then what we do is we find the final state, and we also send it back to the old start state with the empty string. So this new finite state machine accepts any string that is an L1 union L2 concatenated with L3 all starred. So this means it's going to accept lambda, it's going to accept ABEF, CDEF, a, B, E, F, A, B, E, F, A, B, E, F, C, D, E, F, so on and so forth. So it gets the first two letters from either L1 or L2, and then it combines them with the two letters in L3, and then it can send it back to reduplicate the process. Okay, so that was converting regular operators into finite state machines. So taking old finite state machines, merging them together with the regular operators, and then producing a new finite state machine. So this is a sort of an informal proof that if you have two regular languages, then you can perform an operation and get a new regular language. So it's a very informal proof. There is a nice, hearty mathematical proof, but it's very wordy, and it basically just describes this exact process in words. So if you go find a formal proof online, you'll probably be able to understand it now because you've seen a visual diagram of what's going on. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them.